our next speaker for the evening um, is the incredibly talented uh, Catherine Manchin. Kat is a deep space artist and science communicator extraordinaire who is devoted to sharing her love for the stars. And honestly, her artwork leaves me speechless. So I, I, I think I'm going to just have to leave the talking to you, Kat. Take it away. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, Kobe. It's great to be here, guys. And uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this. Um, as I'll just give you a very quick rundown of myself. I've decided that I'm not really going to do much on me. I'm going to focus on teaching you guys how to be an absolute badass and how to dominate social media. So I'm the world's highest uh, crowdfunded painter. I work with space authorities to uh, communicate science. And I've been working with companies like the Discovery Channel and any, everyone, including ro leading rocket companies. Um, anyway, so I want to tell you a story, and it's where we start, which is the importance of SciComm. Behind me is a photo I took of an amazing uh, monolithic sacred rock in Australia called Uluru. And um, re the reason why SciComm is so important is because, uh, you know, people are becoming more and more disconnected from the stars. Um, I was there two years ago, and we had this event where we all sat around in tables, uh, having like dining under the stars. And at some point, they turn all the lights out and you could see the full stars. Now, Uluru is an incredibly remote area, very, very dark. And you could see so many stars. And I know like if you've ever been out either camping or you're lucky enough um, to live somewhere where it's very, very dark, it's incredible how many stars. In a city, you don't really get to see that. Um, and a guy came up to me as I was taking photos of the night sky and he said, excuse me, ma'am, what is that? He was pointing to the Milky Way. He was about 70 years old and he'd never seen the Milky Way. And the thing that shocked me is I stood back and I had this realization that here is someone like 70 years ago, the light pollution was nowhere near the level it is today. But we face this challenge that kids today will be born, will live and die, and will have never seen the stars. The stars are part of our heritage, guys. Doesn't matter where you come from in the world. All of human race has sat around campfires, looking up at the stars, telling stories about where we come. And as light pollution encroaches day by day, it gets brighter and drowns out the stars until there is nothing left. So I really wanna talk about how you guys can get into it. Um, I just want to quickly share some of the stuff that I've been doing um, so you have an idea of the artwork that I create. Um, so I create paintings sort of like this in a way to really inspire people. Anyway, on to the talk. Uh, how to start in SciComps and dominate social media, have you guys. Uh, I'm just going to go as quickly as possible. So number one, we're going to start with the basics. All right, guys, finding your purpose, but also your niche. You know, my purpose is to connect people to the stars and, you know, but, you know, your purpose might be to help people get into, you know, get into the actual education side. Some people's might be to encourage people, um, you know, to connect with other people around the world. You know, some people are just fascinated with the survival of the human race, but whatever it is the thread of your excitement, you need to have the thing that gets you out of bed every day and also that your audience can connect with. Number two, and I know this sounds really basic, but is be okay with sharing your face. Humans need human connection. And it feels weird when you start getting up on camera and talking and all of that stuff. And it's okay because you know what? It's just unfamiliar when it starts. I promise you, the more you do it, the easier it gets. Number three, I've got create consistent and great content. Now I know that that sounds really obvious, but people like to follow people where they know what they're getting. They know what they're gonna be filling their feed with. So, you know, find a thing that you're really enjoying and just stick, you know, stick with it. Try and find iterations. So whether it's, you know, for instance, Kirsten does amazing TikToks on explaining different things in astrophysics, mm -hmm. cosmology, um, and all of those different areas of, of science. So find something consistent. And as far as creating great content, look for, um, you know, look at other accounts that are doing really well. They're out there. There are so many that you can get hold of. Um, Gary Vee always talks about this amazing method called the 10-10 rule, right? Create 10 pieces of content, but spend 10 hours on a platform. 
once you've done that, you are almost guaranteed to understand like how to produce certain things and what does well and what doesn't work well. But be conscious and aware as you go through things. You know, if you're on TikTok, for instance, and you're scrolling by, take a mental note, like why have I scrolled past this thing? Or why has this stuck me? You know, find some, you know, find the essence of each platform. Okay, so another thing is timing your posts well, depending on where you are aiming for. So what you need to do is if you're, for instance, focusing on a US market and it's a platform like Reddit, you know, you want Reddit has a a long life cycle that spans 24 hours. So you want to be posting very early in the morning in New York time so that you get the full time frame throughout the day. If you're in Instagram, people are posting and going on Instagram in the very early mornings when they get out of bed. So depending on what country you're targeting, you know, do AM or when they get home from work, five or 6 PM, depending on your locality. Right. And next thing is just, it's obvious, right? But be social guys, get in there, chat, respond to comments, the whole point of it being called social media is because it's meant to be social. It's not a one-way stream. It's meant to be two ways. Create the sense of community because this is all about bringing people together. You know, and and the thing is that my purpose is to bring people closer to the stars, but I can't do it alone. In fact, none of them, everybody on this in this uh, stream, we all need you guys to get involved. This isn't a one man army or a 10 man army. This isn't something that we can solve with just 30 people. We need everybody watching to start communicating science, as long as it's what you're passionate about, of course. All right. Okay. So, number two, I'm going to go talking about tips on going viral. I know this is an, a, a bit of a black box and it depends on what platform you're on. Okay. So, Uh, Number one, I'm going to be talking about Instagram, okay, and creating collaborations. It's very difficult. uh, As time goes on throughout a social media platform, it becomes harder and harder to create content that just organically takes off. And that's why I really recommend creating collaborations with different people. Get someone, if you're creating a page, get someone who's got a similar page, maybe in a different area. So for instance, I'm a space artist. I'll work with astrophotographers or I might work with science news companies or something like that pages that are maybe similar size or a little bigger or a little smaller and we will help share and promote each other's content and it's literally a case of hey I really appreciate what you're doing I wanted to ask you know would you you know could I share some of your content would you share some of mine let's work together to spread the news of what we're going to do and that's a really really amazing way to grow your audience because ultimately even if you have the world's best message it's not going to go anywhere if you can't get it out to the people. So that's why it's really important to collaborate. Okay, so the next one I'm going to talk about is Reels on Instagram. I actually don't have this feature yet, but for those that do, it is Instagram's favorite thing. If you create a Reel, and sometimes you can create your TikToks and just post them onto Reels, it allows, you know, it, Instagram will give you in, uh, favorability of content and it will put it in front of so many more people. And imagine, the amount of people that you can reach with that type of content. And the other thing is Instagram pods. It's a little bit like a a collaboration, but instead of just having a one-on-one, often you can create, you know, you you can ask around or create your own group of people that help support or even give you feedback on your content. Um, We call them Instagram pods. I'm sure everyone has a slightly different name for it. Okay, quickly on to Twitter. Twitter is all about creating resharable content. Now. Generally speaking, people like to share things that make them inspired, that ultimately, and I know this sounds strange, but people want to share content that will make them look good, of course, because it's things that they're interested in or, you know, things that make them smile, like Bernie Bernie Sanders in Mittens, thanks, (laughs) Ron. You know, it's like make stuff that really engages people. With Twitter, I found that when you're writing the captions, less is more if you can get it out in 10 words instead of 20 cut it down make it so it's instant creating uh you know and one thing i think is really important with twitter is images although it's a text-based platform we are as humans we love and we gravitate to images but twitter does not allow you to choose how you crop it so always crop it add some filters make it look beautiful Um, But most importantly with Twitter, I would say more than any platform, it is the most social platform. You should be interacting. You should be creating and having engaging conversations. 
And honestly, that is the best way to create, you know, and go viral on Twitter. But of course, it's all well and good going viral on Twitter. If your feed looks very um, scattered, um, when people do eventually come to your page, you know, your um, your channel to s- decide whether they want to follow you, if it's all over the place, often they choose not to follow. So may keep some level of consistency or at least, you know, for instance, so I'm a space artist. I make sure that there's plenty, you know, I'm regularly posting space art. So even if I've got a few posts that aren't that, people know what they're getting because they can see it within, within the, the stuff. Uh, the next thing is Facebook. I don't spend a great deal on Facebook. Uh, I have a big community there, but it's always, always favorable for videos. And ironically, the best videos that go well on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook happen to be TikTok videos because the formula for TikTok works on every single platform. So if I, even though, uh, you know, it does take time to get used to TikTok, I highly recommend it. At first, it might seem a bit, oh God, what's going on? Um, But as the algorithm le- learns about what kind of specific things you're into. It delivers content that suits you. So TikTok, creating the viral video formula. So as Kirsten already said, shorter is better. Keep it succinct and to the point. Creating excitement or some suspense is absolutely critical really early on. And that could just be done by a, a text caption or a title saying, hey, wait till you see the end. Um, you know, for instance, I might do uh, a process video where I show all the different steps and then we'll have a dramatic pause and then the reveal. And often just adding a dramatic pause before the reveal creates that ta-da moment. And that's kind of actually a perfect way of making sure that your TikToks go viral. I'm really fortunate that I've got uh, a video that's gone over, been viewed by over 1.2 million people, which absolutely blows my mind that we can get space content in front of that many people. It's incredible. And the interesting thing about TikTok is you can link your Instagram account um, to it. And you, I've actually grown my Instagram account more through TikTok than almost any other platform. So it does pay to go out there. Now, here's the thing with TikTok. Don't expect to go viral. I went through uh, Kirsten's feed just before I came on here. Her first video has about 600 views. Do not feel like you have to get thousands when you start, it absolutely grows and builds over time. So, you know, and just to make a point, two videos ago, Kirsten did a a talk on this cosmic microwave background, and that has seen over 160,000 views. It takes time, just be consistent and just keep at it. Now, lastly, I just wanna quickly touch on Reddit. It is an interesting platform, but it is ultimately dominated by good headlines and good timing and, and, you know, viral content. I always recommend, and I know this sounds strange, but having curiosity and like numbers listed in the header is a key way to make sure it goes well. Um, Anyway, I'm going to close off now as uh, I've gone through everything. I've tried to do it as quickly as possible. There is so much more content. Um, But if you guys have any specific questions, I will be happy to answer them. And hopefully this helps. And actually, I think there was just three last things I do want to say, you know. Firstly, don't be scared of messing up. You know, it is required just view them as lessons and, you know, not mistakes. This is part of a journey. Number two, don't stop yourself doing psychoms because someone else is doing it. And, you know, maybe you don't have, you know, specific levels of education. Obviously, always make sure you fact check. But ultimately, you know, sometimes, you know, I'm an artist. I don't have a... I studied engineering not science as such um but there's room for everybody you know sometimes the the message that you might bring might land better than someone else who you know is more in the academic side of things you know there is room for everyone and the third thing and I already said this don't expect to go viral immediately it takes time it takes persistence it will pay off and just give yourself permission to give it a go because I promise you it's so so rewarding Thank you so much, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that. No, I enjoyed it. I'm sure everybody at home did as well. That was just phenomenal. And honestly, I took a couple of notes there myself. Um, <laughs> something that I, I, I think it's it's so amazing because you know people are always seeing other people succeeding on social media, and they never really have you know a mentor or somebody they can look to in the previous generation and say, hey, you know, how did you do that? How did you manage that? 
And uh, I really appreciate you actually, you know, laying down a simple set of rules for people to follow, some advice. And uh, and thank you, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I really, really appreciate it, Kobe. <laughs> thank you.